Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your December the 27th, just for today in a meditation. I'm brought to you by Hope Through Navigation, and this is our Hood Recovery Services. You can reach me at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Send me any of your questions or concerns regarding your recovery, and I will give you my personal feedback. The title of today's meditation is God Could Restore Us to Sanity. The process of coming to believe restores us to sanity. The strength to move into action comes from this belief. That is taken from the basic text, page 25. Now that we've finally admitted our insanity and seen examples of it in all its manifestations, we might be tempted to believe that we are doomed to repeat this behavior for the rest of our lives. Just as we thought that our act of addiction was hopeless and we'd never get clean, we might now believe that our particular brand of insanity is hopeless. Not so. We know that we owe our freedom from active addiction to the grace of a loving God. If our higher power can perform such a miracle as relieving our obsession to use drugs, surely this power can also relieve our insanity in all its forms. If we doubt this, all we have to do is think about the sanity that has already been restored to our lives. Maybe we've gotten carried away with our credit cards, but sanity returns when we admit defeat and cut them all up. Perhaps we've been feeling lonely and want to go visit our old using buddies. Going to visit our sponsor instead is a sane act. The insanity of our addiction recedes into the past as we begin experiencing moments of sanity in our recovery. Our belief in a power greater than ourselves grows as we begin to understand that even our brand of insanity is nothing in the face of this power. Just for today, I thank the God of my understanding for each sane act in my life for I know they are indications of my restoration to sanity. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the wee version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence, please. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Just for today, please, and thank you. Powerful meditation and a powerful reminder that no matter how crazy things can get, right? No matter how out of control things seem to be, that it shall pass. It will pass. It has always passed. In fact, the fact that you woke up this morning and can remember what you did yesterday is an example of everything past. Isn't it amazing that in the evening we get sleepy and we go to sleep and we wake up in the morning and we start a new day? Well, if you're fortunate not to be a person like me with insomnia, you, you get some rest. Generally speaking, every night, unaware as to what's going on around you. And at some point in time, maybe with an alarm clock, but for most of us at our age, we just wake up naturally with a whole fresh day ahead of us. The very fact that you're listening to this podcast right now is an indication that you have been restored to sanity. The very fact that you can even reflect on yesterday's happenings is an indication that you have been restored to sanity. See, here's the thing. When we look at the fact that the disease of addiction kept us so disconnected 
from reality. We couldn't tell you if it was Tuesday, Wednesday. We couldn't tell you if it was, we were so high. And maybe that's a stretch for some of you, right? But the point is we were so high and so busy chasing the next one that the days began to blend. And because of that, there were things and in situations that we were supposed to be a part of, that we missed appointments, we were supposed to make children, we were so supposed to see parents that we were supposed to tend to. There were so many things that we were unable to do because we were too busy worshiping our drug of choice. We were too busy, caught up in the disease of addiction, the rat race of chasing the next one. So when I say that the fact that you're listening to the podcast and that you woke up is an example that everything passes and that we have been restored to sanity. See, for me, I don't have to look very far to believe that I've been restored to sanity and that even though I may be going through something that feels completely insane in the moment, I have the right now example or proof that I have been and can be restored to sanity. You have the same thing that I have. You have the same grace that I have. You have the same gift of desperation, hopefully, that I have. And that's what this is saying, is that, yeah, we, we get caught up sometimes. Sometimes we see things that in ourselves that we're not proud about. We're coming off of a, a major holiday, Christmas. Do you know how many things jump off during Christmas just within ourselves, less known family? And not to mention in our own you know, society of Narcotics Anonymous, our own fellowship, the craziness that can actually take place over the holidays. You got people coming into marathon meetings from being with family that still don't trust them or situations with baby mamas or baby daddies and and still trying to figure out who gets the most time on the holiday and fighting and arguing about why why we can't have as much time as they have and you drop the ball if you hadn't dropped the ball you'd be with your kids anyway no one would have to tell you how much time you could have all of that craziness that takes place grown kids that don't don't come see us anymore they come looking for a gift but they don't bring one can, can i get can somebody agree with me out there does somebody feel what i'm trying to say that we pass through christmas and then we go into these marathon meetings all jacked up emotionally having relapse spiritually having relapse some of us physically having relapse we all come into this marathon meeting looking for some hope and you think those marathon meetings or those meetings on those holidays that are open for us are not going to have crazy shares are not going to have crazy interactions Open your mind and your heart to the fact that everyone is struggling right now, not just you. Everyone is struggling. This is the time of year where everyone is struggling. Halloween, then Thanksgiving, then Christmas, and then New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and there's so much temptation in these winter months. Even if you're not a, an observer like myself in a major way of these holidays, right? Because me, I'm gonna give you flowers every, every, day, every time I see you, you will get your flowers. I don't need anyone to tell me on this day I need to give a gift, right? But beyond all that, people are going to come into meetings feeling very insane. And so will you, but there's hope. You need to take courage. There's hope that you can be restored to sanity. And the proof of that is just looking over the, your life, just looking over the fact that you are no longer using, that a higher power saw fit to give you the gift of Narcotics Anonymous. And if you can come to your knees and surrender, right? If you can surrender to the disease of addiction, 
your higher power can work that out for you? What can't be worked out? What can't your higher power do? Just because you haven't noticed that your higher power did it doesn't mean your higher power can't do it. That's what I mean by coming to our knees. Sometimes we have to really, really, really be humble and surrender. You ever seen a military force take another military force when they take captives? Now, I'm not talking about the police busting down the door, talking about come, come, come out with your hands up. I'm not, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about serious war. When one regime captures another regime, those that they take into captivity have to get on their knees. And when they're on their knees, the other regime understands that they are surrendering. They are admitting defeat. Or the white flag is still used sometimes for a complete surrender. And sometimes we feel insane. We have to get down on our knees. We have to wave the white flag of surrender and let the same higher power that got us clean, keep us clean. My name is Mighty Stream. I've enjoyed your company. I've enjoyed talking to you today. And now I know we are flowing in the stream. So let's get out there and do mighty things. Let December 27th be the most awesome December 27th you have ever lived in all of your life. Make it so, because if you don't, no one else will, right, Jihad? You guys take care and have a beautiful day.